Hello again, I'm Dave Absley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'm at Ridgewood Cemetery in Wellston, Ohio, and I'd like to introduce you to sassafras. Sassafras is one of my favorite species because it's so unique in so many ways. And one of the things that makes it the most unique is the fact that it has three distinct leaf shapes, often on the same tree. These leaves are all arranged in an alternate fashion. So again, they alternate sides of the twig. They're not going to be paired or opposite like the maples, the ash, the dogwoods, and the buckeyes. These are going to alternate. And the three leaf shapes that you'll typically see are those like this with no lobing. It's just a single leaf blade, no teeth around the edge, kind of egg shaped. You'll find leaves that have two lobes. It looks sort of like a mitten and you'll find leaves that have three lobes. It's highly variable on trees. This tree is covered up with almost all or most of the leaves that have the three lobes. I had a really hard time finding the mitten shaped ones and I had a hard time finding those without any lobing. Other trees you'll find where you may not find many if any of the multi-lobed leaves. So we'll talk about some of the other characteristics that you can use to identify sassafras. The first thing I would do is start with the twigs. These twigs are green from the tip and they're green fairly far back on the tree. You'll see branches as big as an inch in diameter or so that are mostly green. Eventually it'll transition to more of an orangish color until you get to the bark which is more brownish gray. Another great characteristic to ID this plant is the twig. If you'll take your thumbnail and scratch that twig and take a whiff, you're going to smell the citrusy, almost lemony smell that's a very unique smell or odor for sassafras. So again, green twigs with that lemony, citrusy smell is another great ID characteristic. In the spring, these trees are going to produce clusters of yellowish green flowers at the very tips of the twigs, and eventually those flowers will turn into these fruits. The fruits are very unique as well. They're actually a bluish or a black droop on this stalk. A droop is a single seeded fruit, it's kind of fleshy, and it sets up on this reddish stalk, or almost looks like a club. The stalk can be an inch or longer in length and it turns a bright red when they mature. These are just starting to mature. There's still a lot of these that are still green on this tree, but you're seeing some with these bright red stalks. They have a little cup at the tip of the stalk and then this purplish or almost black droop. Again, a droop is a single seeded fleshy fruit. So that's very unique about sassafras as well. As we get further back on the tree, you're going to start looking at the form. A lot of times they're going to grow in either early successional sites where there's been some kind of cut or disturbance, or they're going to be on woodland edges. And when they occur like that, they're often not very straight in form. They tend to be very crooked and you don't very often find them that would make an actual usable board. But occasionally in the woods, if they've grown with good competition and have the right genetics, you'll find some nice straight sassafras trees. Sassafras wood is very lightweight. It was used actually for boats at one time. It's still got a little of that same odor that you'll pick up off of the twigs as well. So it's a wonderful wood to work with, easy to work. It's easy to sand, so it's not hard to work at all. And then finally, we look at the bark. The bark is interlacing and you'll see some tints of orange. If you actually break off a little piece of the bark off the surface, it's going to be kind of a rusty or an orange color underneath. And then finally, one of the things that sassafras is known for are the roots. They actually have an odor that smells somewhat like root beer. In fact, the first root beer drinks came from sassafras roots. Um, they also make sassafras tea out of this. It's a very unique flavored tea. So this is sassafras, sassafras albitum. Thanks so much for your time and please take at least part of your day to enjoy it in the woods.